Hey guys, I'm going to talk about some interviews and interview styles you guys might see on the trail when you're going to these medical schools and what you can kind of see and expect. So generally there's two different types of interview styles. There's the MMI and then there's, there's the traditional. The MMI is kind of like you have maybe eight stations, three minutes at each station with a different person. They're going to ask you a random question. They're going to score you, grade you, and then at the end your scores are going to be average and then compared to other students. So what does that mean? So at one station, you may get a completely random question. For example, a question could be, the world is going through global warming, there's a lot of species that are dying, there's a lot of hunger, there's a lot of wastage, pollution, that kind of stuff. If you were in charge, what would you do? So the goal of that question is to see how you guys think on your feet and what you'll answer. An example of an answer would be, I think we need to prioritize bees because bees are a keystone species and they're really important for fruits and vegetables. Without any vegetation, humans and other species can't survive. So I would focus on first making sure that our fruits, veggies, and plants are able to survive and then the rest of us can figure it out in a sense, right? So there's gonna be random questions like that and what you're gonna go through is before you walk into the room, they're gonna give you maybe 30 to 45 seconds to read the prompt formulate an answer, you walk in, and then you're gonna to talk to someone for about two to three minutes about that question, your answer, why did you pick that answer? They're gonna to try to figure out the way you think. And that's usually how an MMI goes. There's a bunch of stations, a bunch of random questions. Now for a traditional interview, it's more like a faculty member or a resident or someone that's on the committee is gonna be interviewing you. They're gonna be asking you, why the school, why you? they're gonna talk about your application. So as far as why the school, you guys really should look at the website, know their stuff inside and out, try and talk to current students, their current residents, and there's different ways you can do this. You can try and go to the school, try and meet people there. You can go on SDM, Student Doctor Network, go on Reddit. You can try to DM these people, try to get as much information as you can, try to name drop when you can, if you know references and people there, because that'll make you look better. Additionally, they will definitely ask you questions about your application. For example, if you did research on sleep, they're gonna ask you, what did you do? What was your role? How did you lead? Those kind of questions. So you gotta be prepared to answer those questions, give specific examples, otherwise they're just gonna look through you and know your application isn't exactly what it should be. Now sometimes some interviews are gonna be combined. So they can have a 25 minute portion where you're gonna be interviewing with a faculty member and they're gonna be grilling you questions about who are you, what is your application like? And sometimes they may even ask you some throwball questions. They may ask, give me a strength and a weakness and explain to me why that is a strength or a weakness. For that kind of question, let's say the question is, give me a weakness of yours. You kind of want to be honest. You want to give, give a weakness, but don't be too honest. You don't want to basically tell them to not take you as a student. So for an example is, give me a weakness. You can say you're a high goal setter. You really go after goals. But the problem with that is you just rush through your work. You don't care about quality. You don't care about any of that stuff. You just want to check it off your checklist and then move on. And then you could say, I recognize this is a flaw of mine and I surround myself with other people that are more detail oriented, that are more patient, so that we work as a group together and we can eventually have a complete finalized product that's ready to go. That's a way to spin it off. As far as that combined I was talking about earlier, so you can have the first 25 to 30 minutes with a faculty member, and the next 25 to 30 minutes can be with a present student, a second year or a fourth year student. That's kind of just getting to know you. Are you cool enough with this program? Are they gonna vibe with you? Do they think you're a good fit for that program? That kind of stuff. It's mostly kind of a feel for the program. And as far as the interviews go, just do your best. If you For the MMIs, I would highly recommend you read a lot of books and news. Sometimes the questions will be healthcare related. So for example, a question could be, tell me about a problem in healthcare today that you think is not talked about enough, and what would you do to fix it? An example to that question is, the past couple of years, we've seen a lot of locums, which is part-time medical professions. You can sign a contract as a nurse or as a hospitalist, as any kind of doctor, work for two, three days, and then clock in, clock out. The problem with that is there's a diffusion of responsibility. Patient care isn't as good as we once had it. So there's a diffusion of responsibility and patient care is lacking. 
That is a problem that is not talked about enough. A classic example would be the opiate crisis. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows the pharmaceuticals and the insurance companies are gauging hospitals and doctors and patients. But if you can try to formulate responses for the MMI or the traditional in a way that sounds unique and that can come off as interesting, anything to get your personality out there is going to be a bonus. Good luck, guys.